dear students i am mala and today i am going to discuss about ruminant and digestive system learning objectives are introduction a cow's digestive tract that is mouth esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine digestion in ruminant and digestive tract function let's begin with introduction what is a ruminant the ruminants are grass eating animals they are mammals that they are able to acquire nutrients from plant based food that is they are herbivores by fermenting it in a specialized stomach prior to digestion principally through microbial action the way ruminants process food absorb nutrients and gain energy is different from other herbivores they continuously chewing their food even when they are not eating example cow deer sheep goat etc they are able to digest even the difficult to digest materials like cellulose because they contain cellulose enzyme which help in digestion of these cellulose but we humans cannot digest cellulose because we lack cellulose enzyme ruminants have a very special type of digestive system here a four chambered stomach is a peculiar characteristic of these animals let's know more about it the cow's digestive tract the main components of their digestive system include mouth you can see here esophagus here it is also called as food pipe stomach consisting of four compartments that is rumen you can see here reticulum your omasum your abomasum your these are the four compartments of stomach small intestine and large intestine now let us learn one by one in detail mouth is a place where the process begins mouth of ruminants consist of tongue teeth and saliva cattle will graze by wrapping their tongue around plants and chewing pulling them into their mouth for mastication teeth helps in chewing the food chewing stimulates saliva production and saliva mixes with plant matter before the animal swallows the saliva contains enzyme which are capable of breaking down fats and starches and also helps to buffer the ph levels in the reticulum and rumen segments of stomach the mouth lacks any enzymes which means that enzymes are absent in the mouth the function of mouth is just to chew as well as soften the food it is the source of chewing and rechewing next esophagus it is also known as food pipe it directs the movement from mouth to the rumen performs this swallowing action through waves of muscle contraction moving the feet down means it uses muscle contractions to move food no sphincter valve is present in the esophagus next we'll move on to the stomach stomach has four compartments that is rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum each with a unique function let's study in detail rumen it is a large sac like structure that is present in between the esophagus and small intestine for they stored temporarily in the rumen after which it returns to the mouth for chewing that is for rechewing the partially digested food we call it as curd it reaches to the mouth by the process called antiperistalsis the food then after chewing passes to the reticulum next compartment of the stomach is reticulum reticulum is a pouch like structure in the forward area of the body close to the heart the bacteria present in the reticulum helps in fermenting the food it separates finely ground material from coarse ones as well as retains the hard pieces of food third compartment of stomach that is omasum it is a globe shaped structure it has parallel leaf like components with rough surfaces the omasum is mainly responsible for absorption of water food gets 
ground more finely in omasum fourth component or fourth compartment of stomach is abdomasum breakdown of proteins of protein digestion takes place in the abdomasum with the help of enzymes it passes on to the small intestine where the rest of the digestion takes place just like humans next is small intestine small intestine consisting of three sections that is duodenum jejunum and ileum it measures about 20 times the length of animal the function of the small intestine is for the absorption of nutrients cecum it is a large area where the small intestine and large intestine meet function of the cecum is providing the storage and transition between the two intestine that is small intestine and large intestine next we'll move on to the large intestine it is the last section of the digestive tract consists of cecum colon and rectum the function of large intestine is for absorbing the water and nutrients and also helps in the eliminating the waste from the body let's study the digestion in ruminants food route how the food travels throughout the digestive tract in ruminants food goes to mouth mouth to rumen rumen to mouth again for retrieving after retrieving chewing it goes to rumen rumen to reticulum reticulum to omasum omasum to abomasum abomasum to the intestine that is small intestine and large intestine colon and anus this is how the food travels throughout the alimentary canal or digestive tract in ruminants let us study the mechanism of digestion in ruminants in detail in ruminants actually the food that is grass quickly swallow through mouth food through mouth goes to the rumen there is a partially chewed food from the mouth it is stored temporarily in the rumen there is a first chamber of stomach it is the largest chamber too here the food is stored temporarily there is a partially digested food we call it as curd food from the rumen goes back to the mouth for retrieving that is regurgitation the action of bringing swallowed food up again to the mouth now in mouth the complete chewing process takes place and it mixes with large amount of saliva after complete chewing of food it comes back to the rumen in the rumen major digestion process takes place for some time here the digestion process continues cellulose enzyme is present in the rumen which helps in the uh, digestion of cellulose which act on the cellulose and breaks the cellulose which is present in the food and after digestion process in the rumen the food next goes to the reticulum here the filtration of food material takes place the reticulum is the second chamber of the stomach here the filtration of food material and almost digestion process takes place in the reticulum food from the reticulum goes to the omasum here this omasum is a third chamber of stomach here the food along with the bacteria enters and this omasum helps in grinding of food particle size of this food reduced in the omasum and some nutrients water bicarbonates are absorbed in the omasum next the food moves to the abomasum the abomasum is a true stomach it is a fourth component or fourth compartment of the stomach it is similar to our stomach which secretes gastric juice and enzymes from walls and help makes the uh, acidic medium and kills the bacteria enters the food and helps in the digestion process by the action of gastric juice and enzyme after that the food travels to the duodenum it is a part of the small intestine and then to the large intestine the function of the small intestine and large intestine is for the absorption of nutrients and water then any material not digested by this stage in the process will be excreted from the body this is how the process takes place in the ruminants digestive tract function these are the functions of digestive tract in ruminants let us study one by one erectation here belching is how ruminants continually get rid of fermented gases especially carbon dioxide and methane gases next is rumination it is a process of retrieving the curd to further break down plant matter 
and stimulate digestion is called rumination the animals which undergoes this rumination process are called ruminants feed movement in the rumen the rumen contracts and moves continuously saliva production salivary gland of cow can make and add 50 to 80 quarts of saliva to the rumen daily energy feed digestion in the rumen here uh, nutrients are digested and it is converted in the form of energy in the rumen next is vitamin production rumen microbes make vitamin k and all b vitamins for cattle for growth and maintenance next is fat digestion it occurs in the small intestine absorbs more saturated fat than simple stomach animals these are the digestive tract functions thank you